on to a good feud. All right, I'll let you take the Goldie and Watt stuff. Okay, so I forget what was the first week. I have to scroll up to make sure I have this in order. Because much like most of Goldilocks' segments, they kind of just jumble up in my head. So yeah, we started with the video package you want to talk about. That was on the first show of the month. Oh, the video... Okay, so we get this wonderful, wonderful video package, which actually, like, gave me audible laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> well, we had um, Goldilocks... I mean... Okay. So is this like this wasn't this wasn't the 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 phone call one that was next week right? No, this was the phone call one. Oh, I thought the phone call one was on the second week. So yeah, we had this great segment where Goldilocks has been repeatedly ringing <laughs> Eric Watts and complaining about Eric Watts ringing her yeah. <laughs> and saying he needs to move on, he needs to get a life. It's so sad that you would keep ringing her over and over again. But we have the timestamps on these calls, and they're like a minute <laughs> from each other every time. <laughs> Uh, and then eventually these two, they start going on about how it's it started about love, but now it's about the money. Because they actually, they aired this package twice. There was like a second condensed version of it as well. Yeah. The full one is great and you should actually try and find it. It's really funny. Yeah, it is literally just Goldilocks being as unhinged as she ever is. Just being like, Eric, leave me alone. Stop tormenting me. Eric, I hate you. Why are you obsessed with me? I'm not crazy. You're crazy. And then it's like, received at 3.43. Received at 3.45. Just ranting at poor Eric Watts. We also got a video package recounting all of her racist kicks. <laughs> so, you know, it was it was a big big one heading into this uh, Abyss Eric Watts match. Of course, we have um, Watts. He's, uh, he's, he's uh, a poor man now. He lost his TNA job. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's not making not making bank anymore. I like um, downtrodden working man Eric Watts now with his new gear. He lost the suits. Now he's got the button up and the jeans. <laughs> Not even a button up at times. Sometimes it's just a t-shirt. Yeah. Poor guys hit hard times, daddy. He should t- he should join uh, American Dreams Most Wanted. No, he should join uh, Desire as a quest to make some money because that's what the only reason they're here. Yeah, well, he's working for TNA now and that's enough for Desire to put food on the table, so... Should be enough for Eric Watts. Maybe Eric Watts just says... I'll, I'll do the, the, the rich people talking about millennials nowadays where it's like... Uh, maybe they should just cut out all of those expenditures, like eating and power. Yeah, they shouldn't have the internet. They're always on their phones, Liam. Oh, they're all eating the avocado. That was a big one in Australia. I don't know if that made it out uh, elsewhere. I think that was an American thing as well, but not here. It was a oh, all of these millennials too busy buying avocado to pay their rent. They're like, I have a choice this month whether I'm going to eat avocados or pay my rent and frankly i've chosen the avocados it's a, it's it's so funny like that kind of reporting because it's like millennials aren't buying houses and then it's like it's like oh millennials entitled to their houses that they want to buy <laughs> <sighs> so then we had eric watts against the best i thought it was fun and uh, watts is in pretty good shape what's his what's his moving he's in happy to have a shirt taken off shape which is good for you watts yeah proud of you looking good I'm enjoying the Abyss and Eric Watts stuff, and it's funny that we've kind of had this uh, consistent theme between these two, because we also had it with the Kid Cash stuff. Mm. So Watts was running wild, grabbed a baseball bat, Goldie came out, tried to take the baseball bat from Watts. The distraction allowed Abyss to hit a black hole slam and win. Yeah. Goldie then grabbed a microphone and said she enjoys seeing Watts flat on his back, just like she left him. Yeah, yeah. Shoved some, shoved a dollar down his throat. She is very frugal. She's very smart. I always get really confused when I see how easily... American money crumples, and I remember it's like shitty paper. Oh yeah, it's literal paper. <laughs> yeah, that seems awful. Your money would get like destroyed. To be fair, ours isn't much better. <laughs> the euro notes. Ours is like plastic. Yeah, you have that fancy like durable money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not. That's not like a a crazy thing. <laughs> that seems like that should be the norm. No, you're crazy. Don't call me crazy. You call me crazy. Hey, Don, Donald, Vincent Russo, Michael Tenay. Does she say Michael? She probably should. She hits Donald and she hits Vincent. Because mm. she says that Abyss wants the next shot at the, the NWA title. Yeah, Abyss choked Watts until security came out. Abyss then killed the security. He's the original Wardlow. Then Watts eventually made his own comeback, ran Abyss off with the bat. They should be teaming up. Should be pals. They should just turn on Goldie. What a destructive force. Like, Goldie, you're out of here. No, Goldie should join back up with Eric Watts. True chaos. Uh, so Goldie is doing a promo. She's mad that Watts got his job back. She's talked to Adrian, Carmen, and Kate. Yes, even Kate. And they all agree that this is a crime. 
Yeah, it's very good. And then she threatens a nasty legal battle and is like, I have the money. She has gotten all of Eric Watts' money somehow. I, I think that's the story. I'm not sure. Well, she got Eric Watts' money and then she, I think she got Don, not Don West, uh, Don Callis' money as well. Yeah, she's been just stealing money from everybody. Hmm. I believe Adrian, Carmen, and Kate were meant to be the names of her alternate characters. <laughs> oh, who was Adrian? I don't know. Maybe that was that one that was meant to be Asian that we were like, what? <laughs> that was just her in a black wig. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. So then last show of the month, they confront Mike, Tanae, and Don West. <laughs> Donald? <laughs> she shouts at them. She's like, I have a legal dispute and I have all this money. And she has like $4 in her hand. <laughs> They're $1 notes. That would make sense if, like, that's the reason she looks so raggedy at the same time. Like, she looks as bad as Eric Watts does. <laughs> they're just all, like, again, they're toxic for each other in every way. I've seen legitimate relationships like this. <laughs> <laughs> that even when they break up, they're still hideous for each other. Without the, like, physical aspect mm. that, like, Eric Watts is getting cheered every three seconds for trying to choke slam <laughs> Goldilocks. <Lutz. laughs> of course. <laughs> but, like, the constant like shit talking each other while also both being in basically the exact same position is something i have definitely seen in real life yeah so that she's shouting at Tanae and west don west then says she's crazy and she's like crazy would a crazy person do this you call me crazy donald and he wants to say yes so badly he wants to say yes so badly not only does he want to say yes so badly he leads the crowd in crazy chants <laughs> And I love Tanae's faces in the background. Some great Tanae faces. Oh, Tanae faces are the best part of these shows. This has been one of the best feuds in TNA history. <laughs> so Watts shows up, rolls with Abyss, throws Abyss into a chair in the corner, falls with a bat shot. Then he stepped on Goldilocks's hand as she tried to retrieve her $4. <laughs> well, clearly they both need it. <laughs> they really do. I was being earnest when I said that, that by the way. <laughs> I think you'll be upset about this note, but Abyss was told a few weeks ago that he was going to be a background player until the FSN show starts. He was assured that he will be involved in a big feud once the show starts. Well, they, uh, well that doesn't make any sense. He's in the biggest yeah, feud. I was like, you, you surely wouldn't be able to comprehend this. Garrett, if this feud continues into the next month, which God do I hope it does, it better not be in the best of the rest. <laughs> it's the headline topic. I don't need to be the headline. But it's not the best of the rest. Usually best of the rest is less uh, a, a denotion of importance and more just... Garrett, do it. <laughs> more a denotion of like the amount Give of it content. its own topic. It's usually when it's only like a small amount of things happened with a thing it gets thrown as the best Could of the rest. Could you please make a new one called best of the best and put that in there? Okay, we'll do that next month. Wow, this is, a, this is some good content for the $1 tier? Yes, you can look at the show notes on the $1 tier. Yeah. See, I don't have to pay for it, so I don't know. Though I realize, you know, when you do like size gimmicks and color gimmicks, d yeah. doesn't actually come through on Patreon, so <laughs> they don't see that. I mean, that's more just to... D Honestly, I do the color gimmick so that I know how long the show is left. 